very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,277.38 points, marking a decrease of 1.08 points below last closing. The decrease was in the commercial banks and services sectors, and investors traded mainly in the services sector with 48% of total shares. 58 transactions included 1,639,455 shares worth 235,654 Bahraini dinars. The Minister of Finance, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, received the head of BNP Paribas Corporate Investment Banking, Jan Girardin, and his accompanying delegation. He discussed with them means of expanding the activities of the bank in Bahrain, as well as the latest developments relating to the global economy. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism announced the launch date for the 12th edition of Invest in Bahrain. Invest in Bahrain 2017 is an important event showcasing investment opportunities and its credentials as a competitive location to do business in the region and beyond. The forum is expected to be attended by a large number of business figures from all over the world. It will also highlight the results of a study conducted by the GCC on investment opportunities in the kingdom. The event will take place on October 31st at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center. The Lebanese Central Bank has the foreign currency reserves it needs to keep the pound stable against the dollar. The country's central bank has been engaged in three financial operations intended to maintain high levels of dollar assets and to help banks run their credit portfolios in a less risky way. Lebanon's foreign currency reserves fell last year to around $35 billion, strained by a slowdown in deposits, a negative balance of payments and political paralysis. But this year, it stood at $40 billion. British Prime Minister Theresa May said that she expected parliaments would have a vote on the final Brexit deal before the country formally leaves the bloc. She is seeking a so-called implementation period of around two years following Britain's departure from the EU in March 2019, during which its access to the EU single market would stay largely unchanged. While new arrangements are put in place, businesses are anxious to see the details of such a deal to end uncertainty over the trading rules they could face after Britain leaves the bloc. And finally, before we conclude our business news for this evening, let's take a look at how stock markets around the world fared in daily trading. That's it from the Business Desk and Spectre UK.